Welcome back to Finding Your Indie. I'm Bonnie Paulson, and I wanted to share with you something that I think is super important. Um, Author Nation touched on it, and I'm going to actually <laughs> give you the link right here and down in the descriptions. I want you to think about the things that they're talking about. Take a few minutes, watch the video, listen to what they're saying. What's important, now that you're back, What's important about what they're saying is that they want you to define your own success. I believe that this is one of the most important things that we can do as people, not just authors, not just business owners, but as people. We need to identify why we've always done keeping up with the Joneses, why we've always had this sense of competition and comparing ourselves. It's gotten even worse since we started social media and we can actually see what people are doing. We see some authors who are talking about the things that they're making, the money that they're making but people aren't sharing the actual impact of what they're doing. I had someone reach out to me once and say, your book got me through cancer chemo, your series got me through cancer, chemo treatments on that. And when I was really down and feeling majorly sick, I was reading through and one of your characters got cancer. Sorry, I might start getting a little teary eyed. Unfortunately, my character died, but this reader was like, it gave me the strength to get through so I could actually ignore what was happening to myself. That to me, was a marker of success that I had been searching for, but I hadn't realized it. I felt successful in that moment. I saved that email and I actually put it up on my wall to remind me of what it is that I'm doing as an author. Now in this last year, this is gonna get kind of personal, but this last year I've taken a break from writing and I have even pulled back from marketing my own books. Do you wanna know why? Because last year I was getting so I was feeling so competitive with my friends and so envious of their success that I realized I wasn't Bonnie anymore. I realized that I was turning into somebody that I didn't believe in and into something that I didn't want a part of. I don't believe that success is the same thing for everybody. So I had to take a step back. I had a discussion with John Logson. He's a really good buddy of mine and he has this mental game. Again, I'll link it down below. It's free for everybody. I took the course before he actually made it available to anybody really. And we were talking about it. He walked me through a bunch of things and I realized, I realized something that I had been missing. And it was that I had not identified my own success. I had not identified what it was that would make me feel fulfilled. Okay. So for instance, if you have a nine to five, you know, you, you go to work, you do the things to get the money and that's your success, right? You, you get the money to pay the bills so you can continue to live. Okay. That's, that's an identifier of success in that part of your family and that part of your life. For an author, it might be an identifier might be, I have this many books written Four. I have two books written. I have a book written Okay. Another one might be, oh, I'm traditionally published or I wanted to be indie published and now I'm looking to get my, you know, get my stuff turned into movies or I wanted to learn how to be an indie author and now I'm also looking at developing scripts or graphic novels or whatever. Do you see where I'm getting at? Your identifier for what success looks like for you is something that you really need to tune into on a personal level. So when Mandy and I started talking about doing Finding Your Indie together and actually moving some of these things forward and seeing how we could actually help people, that was something that we actually sat down and talked about. What is an identifier for us of success? Well, obviously money is a thing. So we want to make money with it. But our second one was how many people can we help without really hurting our first one? How, you know, how, with helping, with helping our first one, how many people can we actually help? And that's when it became our first goal and making money became like our fourth or fifth goal with it. Do we want to make money? Sure. We need to make money. We need to pay our bills, but helping people became more important to us, especially the more we see and heard and hear and witness actual information that's just not accurate. I saw somebody continue to pass around this post that said something along the lines of, if you have 50 reviews on your book, Amazon will help you market. Absolutely not true. And yet people continue to push this meme or this information. So we're kind of in the fight right now, right? We're trying to help people understand what's true and what's not true, where to start, what to do, what steps are you taking? And I think that's really important. But the very first thing that authors or anybody does is identify what their definition of success is. 
I have to tell you, I have a friend who makes a significant amount of money doing this. Every month, this writer makes so much money. And this person is unhealthy and not happy. This person constantly is stressed out. This person is... I've never seen anyone... Uh, that's one of my friends, that's so discouraged about life and so stressed out all the time, making, you know, $80,000 a month. I mean, that's, that's like a ballpark figure, but making $80,000 a month and this person is beyond stressed out. This person can feed their children. This person actually has paid off their home and paid off their parents' home and they don't feel successful. They don't feel like they're hitting what everybody else considers success. I got to tell you, if I was only looking at the dollar signs, I'd say, yeah, wow, I think you've made it. But this person is comparing themselves to other authors who are posting what they make and other businesses who are posting what they make. I think that this person would be very happy if they stepped back and took a look at what actually they think of as success. They didn't have to work their job anymore. They have health care. They actually have their children home and they actually can help their job, their um, children with jobs. Their, their children are working for them, with them. Anyways, I see this and I, it makes my heart sad, my heart sad, because what are we doing? What are, what are we doing that we have made it such a, that we have become this society or actually this, this industry that all we do is we focus about the money. What are we doing? I take, on a, I take on a few pro bono clients every once in a while where I don't charge them money. I actually help them simply to help them, simply because they I know that they would benefit from what I'm doing. Everything else is set up. I can help you with your ads. I will do that. And I've, and I've done that for multiple clients. And then when they're ready, I let them go on their way. Like it's not, it's, it's, it's great. It is what it is. I have lots of things that I think are important. A lot of things. My family is important to me. My church service is re- important to me. Um, oh my goodness, making food is important to me. If you've met me, you know why. Food is important. Uh, dirt biking with my family is important. What's not important is hurting someone or being caustic to someone simply because they don't fit or align with my goals or they're in the way of my goals. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. I don't know of anybody on the earth who has the power to get in the way of my ultimate goal, which is to spend time with my family. I don't know anybody who has that power except me and except for the goals that I have set for myself. And this is kind of getting into a preachy thing, but really I just want you to sit down, grab a piece of paper, and I want you to write out what five things are that help you define success. What do you think of as defining success? Is it more subscribers? Is it money? Is it having things in line where your reviews are coming in great, where you have a great community of readers? Is it getting that book out that you've been trying to write for decades and you finally got it out? What does success look like to you? And what kind of things are you willing to give up to get there? Okay, so enough preachy, enough preachy. (laughs) I want you to know that there's a lot of different ways to get to whatever success goal it is that you've set. And here at Finding Your Indie, we are focusing on helping push out advertising information and marketing information. This can spread across just about anything, as you know. Um, Check out our our channels. Check out where we're at on, on TikTok. We're over on Facebook. We've got a free group on Facebook. We have lots of things that we're working on, a lot of things that we provide for free. We have the seven day challenge, which if you've been around, you know that I'm talking about the seven day challenge a lot. That's where you're trying to figure out if your books have, if they're ready to be marketed. Okay. So again, maybe money's not your thing. That's okay. Money's not everybody's thing. Don't worry about marketing. It really just comes down to if you're trying to be seen, what your goals are, and what we can do to help you define success. Check out Author Nation. I'm a huge fan. I cannot wait to see what happens this coming fall. They've got lots of things in the lineup. I just adore the team that they have running, and I can't wait to see you there. If, however, you also are like, I'm not, I'm not the type of person where I'm ready to go to a conference yet, that's fine. Check out John's free a mindset game, his mental health game, like this whole video, like course that he does, but be prepared to work. It's hard. It made me question a lot about the things that I thought I was doing here. And I've been in this game since 2008. And I'm not going to lie. It made me reevaluate what I've done for almost two decades. So I rethought things. And now I've got a plan. I'm moving forward. I'm back in it. My fingers are on the keyboard. I feel like Bonnie's back. 
And I kind of want you to join me. Find your success, define your success so you can find your success. Ooh, that's kind of a tongue twister there. Okay, guys, we've got lots coming up. We've got lots of information to help you with. We really want to share things with you. We want you to learn and grow, and we're here for it. Are you here for it? Hit like and subscribe. Hit the notifications bell so that you'll get notifications when we put up a new video. We've got lots of things coming out. Again, we soup, we just can't wait to talk with you some more and get to know you a little bit better and see how we can all move forward in this publishing industry. It's crazy.